Hello friend, welcome to Free Engineering Knowledge. In this video, what is an automatic transfer switch? How does it work? And let's see its control and power circuits. First, let's see what an automatic transfer switch is. An automatic transfer switch is a device that automatically transfers a power supply from its primary source to a backup source when it senses a failure or outage in the primary source. When a failure occurs in a primary power system, the automatic transfer switch invokes a standby power source, such as an uninterruptible power supply. An automatic transfer switch can also start up more long-term backup power systems, such as local diesel generators, to run electric equipment until utility power is restored. Next, let's look at the control circuit diagram of the automatic transfer switch. Two timer relays are used in this. We will see why we use this in the next section. Automatic transfer switches are necessary electrical equipment. 230 volts 2 MCBs. Its amp can be adjusted according to your usage. Two 230 volt contactor relays. Two timer relays. One of these should be 230 volts and the other 12 volts. It should have a 230 volt timer relay for the EB side and a 12 volt timer relay for the generator side. Why should we use timers? Sometimes there is a power cut on the EB side and it comes on suddenly. This can affect the electronic devices in our home. These two timers are used to avoid this. Specifically, the timer on the generator side should be slightly longer than the timer on the EB side. Now let's see about its power circuit, control circuit, and how it works. The power circuit of the automatic transfer switch. EB side control circuit. Generator power side control circuit. Generator on, off control circuit. Normally, EB side power is supplied to the distribution board. Let's power cut on the EP side. It takes a few seconds for the generator to start up. We have already seen the reason for this. The generator is switched on. Power is supplied to the distribution board through it. After the EB side power is restored, the generator is switched off and transferred to the EB side within a few seconds. Importantly, since the generator works automatically, we have to check the generator manually at least once a week. If you find this video useful, please like the video. Subscribe to the Free Engineering Knowledge channel as well. Thanks.